Conor McGregor has been accused of raping a woman at Game 4 of the NBA Finals earlier this month, but a UFC star says the allegations are not true. According to demand letters by attorney Ariel Mitchell that were sent to McGregor, the NBA and the Miami Heat this week, the incident happened just after the Nuggets had won 108-95 on June 9th at the Kaseya Center in Florida. McGregor played a big part in the entertainment of the game. He sat in courtside seats and even played along in the halftime skit where he punched a heat mascot multiple times while promoting his title sport recovery spray. <laughs> But according to the letters, at one point later on during the evening, he violently sexually assaulted a woman inside of a man's bathroom. In the letters, Mitchell claims that NBA and the Heat security helped separate the woman from her friend and then forced her into a restroom that McGregor and his security guard were already inside of. In the letters, Mitchell says security refused to let the woman exit or allow anyone else, including her friend, inside the bathroom. The lawyer then claims McGregor emerged from inside of a handicap store and aggressively kissed her. According to the letters, the woman was able to get McGregor off of her by telling him she had to pee, but then McGregor allegedly forced her to have oral sex with him. Mitchell says in the letters the woman was able to elbow McGregor repeatedly, which gave her a window to escape. However, she allegedly fled in such a hurry she left her purse, which Mitchell says McGregor's security guards held hostage until she pleaded with them for its return. According to the letters, the woman finally got away from it all and went on to report the assault to local authorities on Sunday morning. Mitchell tells us an officer then encouraged the woman to seek out an attorney. In the letters which were sent following the woman's meeting with the cops, Mitchell said the woman is seeking settlements with the NBA, the Heat and McGregor in lieu of litigation. Reps for McGregor however said in a statement Thursday morning that allegations are false. Mr. McGregor will not be intimidated, they added. The Miami Heat released a statement Thursday afternoon saying the organization is aware of the allegations and is conducting a full investigation into the matter. The NBA added in a statement of its own, we are aware of the allegations and are working with the team to gather more information. The UFC also addressed the alleged incident saying it too is aware of the claims and is working on getting more information. UFC will allow the legal process to play out before making any additional statements. Video footage has been obtained that shows Conor McGregor taking his rape accuser by the hand and leading her into a bathroom where she says he sexually assaulted her. Just watch the video. The footage was shot inside the Kaseya Center in Miami at around midnight on June 10th, just after the Nuggets had beaten the Heat in Game 4 of the NBA Finals on June 9th. In the video, you can see McGregor wearing a black tee leaving a restroom area to speak with a woman in a white shirt. After appearing to exchange words with a woman, Connor grabs her by her hand and makes a path for her to go with him inside of a bathroom. A few seconds later, the restroom door shuts with anyone else appearing to go inside. The footage then ends. However, the video does not appear to show anyone forcing her into the restroom with Connor. He's instead leading her by the hand, but three men who seem like security guards do assemble in front of the door in a manner that will prevent anyone from entering or exiting. According to Mitchell, McGregor's accuser and the UFC star had been partying together at a club inside of the NBA arena just minutes before the video was taken. At one point during their nightclub celebration, Mitchell says her client took a selfie video with Connor. Mitchell says though their partying was halted when McGregor said he had to use the restroom, but shortly after he got up, a man in a Denver Nuggets jersey walked up to her and told her, Connor told me to come get you. My client was under the belief they were leaving and going to the Four Seasons Hotel as Connor had previously asked her to join him at his hotel room, Mitchell said in a statement. She continues to say in the statement, the man with the braids then stopped at the door of the bathroom when Connor grabbed my client. I seen in the video, my client believed they were leaving, but instead Connor took her to the restroom. Connor McGregor's attorney says after the video footage was released by TMZ, the claimant's lawyer now has changed her story. Mr. McGregor welcomed the investigation, which he firmly believes will show the claims against him are false. After not responding to the demand for money made by the claimant's counsel, she turned to the media to apply pressure. This is no more than a shakedown. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below.